Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here and welcome to another episode of Challenge Jimmy. This is where you, the subscriber, can send me your JPEGs and tell me what you found difficult about processing the scene and I'll see if I can give you advice on that. Thank you very much to Leia for sending me this image. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. For some reason I have a habit of choosing images from people whose names I just can't say properly, so I'm sorry about that. But this is a very beautiful image sent to me and it has such a lovely mood even in the natural raw file. I love the fog here in the background and the details here in the tree and the green moss. And this is going to be a very simple image to process. All we're going to do is some quick color correction. Then we're going to bring out some of the beautiful details in the foreground here in the tree and just add to the colors in general. So the first thing I'm going to do is hold shift and open this as a smart object. And I'm just going to keep this file here just as a comparison for the end of the workflow. And I'm going to right click on it and choose new smart object via copy. We're going to go into Adobe Camera Raw and do some color correction here. But just as a quick tip, here's a great way to very quickly color correct in Photoshop. Firstly, your layer has to be rasterized. It can't be a smart object. So if I just press the merge button on Raya Pro, I can go to image, adjustments and match color and just choose neutralize and you see how that very quickly and beautifully removes the blue color cast in our image so that's just a quick tip and for Raya Pro users you just need to go into enhance and autocorrect and the same thing will happen here for you so to get back to the tutorial I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to go back into Adobe Camera Raw here we're just going to do two things we're going to bring the temperature slider along to the right just to give it a much warmer feel and we're going to keep going until it looks nice and warm then we're going to bring up the exposure and bring down the highlights just a little bit and I'm going to bring up the shadows a touch too so now we have a nice base exposure and I'm just going to do the usual cleaning of the image by going to enable lens profile corrections and remove chromatic aberrations and just press OK and now I'm actually going to duplicate this layer again via a smart object and go back into Adobe Camera Raw but this time I'm going to go to the clarity slider and I'm going to bring it right up and the reason why we're doing that is just so it can bring out some beautiful details just in the foreground here and the tree and that's all we want to do here and we just press OK the reason why I didn't do that in the first exposure here in the middle is because we want the trees in the background here to be nice and soft. We don't want to give them any local contrast. And with the clarity slider, you can see we've brightened them up slightly and given them too much contrast. We just want to apply this local contrast to the foreground here and to the tree. So I'm just going to hold down Alt or Option on a Mac and create a black layer mask on that new file. And with a white paintbrush, I'm going to paint in the foreground here. And I'm going to do it along the tree here as well because there's some beautiful detail in the trunk there. And if we went a little bit too far wide, we can make a little brush and just paint it out here. It's okay if it's not perfect. So now we have our nice soft background and we've brought some beautiful detail into the foreground here. Now I'm going to change the composition just a little bit. It's a very nice composition, but I think I'm going to crop it to around about here. And the reason why is because I think down this area in the side of the image wasn't really giving anything to the composition. And up the top here as well was beginning to become dead space. So if we bring it along very slightly, we will basically be framing the image along here before the roots start and we'll be putting the tree perfectly in line with this first line here. So now we have a tighter composition which focuses more on this beautiful foreground. Next we need to look at developing colors and I think it would work perfectly just to bring out colors in the leaves here and the green moss in the foreground and it's very easy to do that. We just open up a hue saturation layer, we choose our hand tool and we just press once in an area that we want to affect. And now since we want to affect the greens, I'm just going to bring the slider along a little bit more just so that we encompass more of those colors. And I'm actually going to bring 
all of these a little bit to the right actually. And now we can bring up the saturation. Not too much, just a little bit, that's nice. And the second adjustment again with the hand tool, we're going to go down to these leaves and I'm going to move this along just a little bit and we're going to bring up the saturation of these leaves too. So it's nice and strong. Now we don't want to affect the saturation of the trees and the forest in the background. So I'm just going to mask out the hue saturation layer along there. So here's the before and after. There's just some extra color in the foreground. Now I want to do two more things. This is a really magical soft scene and I want to accentuate that magical feel. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a curves layer and just soften the shadows in our image. And this always creates a more magical feel when we do this. There we go. And we can bring down our mid-tone slightly and bring up our highlights just a little bit, not much. So now we have a much softer, dreamier feel. Next I'm going to create a very soft Orton effect, nothing too strong. And we do that by holding down Shift, Control, Alt and E, or Shift, Command, Option and E on a Mac. And that basically creates a new layer from all of our layers below. And now we can make changes to this layer without affecting anything below. So I'm going to first make this a smart object. So I do that by going to layer, smart object and convert to smart objects. And I'm just doing this so that whatever changes we make to the smart object, we can go back and adjust those changes just in case we need to. Now I'm going to go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. And I'm going to really blur the image like this. Next, I'll go to image, adjustments and levels and we're going to bring up the brightness quite a bit and bring the shadows along just a little bit too and press ok and now all we need to do is bring down the opacity significantly and you can see we already have that soft dreamy effect so if we just zoom in that's before and that's after and you can see we've just softened the image and just made it glow ever so slightly. And the higher the opacity, the stronger the effect. But I'm just going to make it nice and low, around 10%. And to finish the image, I'm going to create a very soft vignette with a curves layer. And I'm going to bring up the curves layer just a little bit, not too much. Then I'm going to hold down Control and I or Command and I. And you'll see we'll invert the mask to make it invisible. We'll choose a white paintbrush. Make sure it's nice and big and I'm just going to paint in that curves adjustment. It's just a very soft adjustment, nothing big, just in the center of the image. And this is because this is where we want our viewer's attention to go. And now I'm going to press Command and J or Control and J on a PC. Then Command and I or Control and I to invert that mask again. And this time I'm going to bring the midtones down a little bit. And so with this vignette, we brightened up the area that we want as our main focal point and we darkened the area that would essentially take away from our composition. So if I just group these two, you can see what it looks like before and after. That's before the vignette and that's after the vignette. It's very subtle. Now just to finish, I'm going to create a small curves layer there and just bring the contrast down a little bit more. And bring up the brightness a touch it too. And now I'm going to select all of my layers, press Ctrl and G to group them. And this is the image we started with, which had a strong blue color cast and was a little bit dark. And this is the image we finish with. So now we have some beautiful greens and reds in the foreground, some lovely texture in the roots of the tree and in the tree itself. And just a nice soft dreamy feel to the image in general. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this Challenge Jimmy episode. And if you'd like to take part, please feel free to send me your images, your JPEGs, to challengejimmymac at gmail.com and give me a brief description of what you found difficult about processing that image and I'll see if I can give you advice on that. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time.